Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, I wanted to dis discuss with you guys taking profits and, you know, look at the market, show you a couple of coins and try and hopefully give you guys an insight as to how you should maybe be taking profits because I think it's important. If it sounds interesting to you, please drop that like, give me a subscribe if you're watching. I know you can see my face, see my chair and all sorts. I'm going to flick around the, the camera so you know well, i'm gonna try to hopefully it all goes well uh, i'm looking at the screen right now let me flip it over so when i talk about make sure i've got <laughs> i've got to get used to this when i talk about taking profits it you know you have to decide in your head when is going to be best for you now for me <clears throat> i told you i'm going to keep flipping the camera for me like i like to think about uh, something realistic, so like a 20x gain. Now, when you think about traditional stocks, they take years to see like a 5% return. <clears throat> and if it drops 5-10%, that's like a, a bear market for the stock market, right? But when you think about crypto and we're in this space, seeing a 5-10% you know, drop or, or increase is normal. And like, I'm looking here, look, look at the charts that I'm seeing here. <clears throat> You can see that uh, over the seven days, right? If I switch this over, the highest one right now, spell token. I don't know what you do, spell token, but you're up 60%, 65%. Terra's up 50%. Let's see the lowest of the lows. We've got 30, minus 30% 30 uh, on Bitcoin Cash ABC. <laughs> you know, so many different Bitcoins. Uh, minus 13% on Elrond. Pancake swapped down 11%. So what I'm trying to get is that uh, volatility is in this market and you can make gains quick. So 10, you know, 10x, 20x is the sort of X gain that I would be looking for to to take profits. So meaning if I got into a coin that was uh, at an X amount of price and it goes to, let's say I put a thousand pounds and I see 20,000 pounds sitting there, you best believe I will start considering taking profits because you don't want to be too greedy. Now you can, you know, you know full well if you're in this space, you know you can make like the 20X, 50X, 100X gains easily. We've seen it with some of the coins we've invested in. You know, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, Gala just done 100X recently if you bought it at 005 or a penny because uh, you know when that came back down um but what i'm saying is uh just know when you're going to take profits guys don't let that greed kick in and get to you because many people in the last cycle uh watched the top come in they saw crazy amounts of money in their portfolio and they just let it fall back down and if you was one of them people drop that comment drop the like let people understand that it has happened and some of you may be thinking well i'll just wait to the next bull cycle <clears throat> i'm happy to be a long-term investor i'm a long-term investor and i'm happy to be a long-term investor i'll just let it sit there fall down and uh, just take profits on the next cycle fine you can do that but why drop or miss out on all these gains that you've made this cycle I believe that the altcoins will pick up again. You may have a thousand pounds more than what you had before. You may have ten thousand pounds than what you had before. You may have a hundred thousand pounds more than what you had before. Why would you want to see those gains just disappear? It doesn't make sense in my eyes, which is why I want to bring this uh, uh, topic to you. So taking a look at these coins, let's just use Solana as an example, because you know there's many coins we can discuss. I want to talk Solana. Where is Solana? Here. Sitting in fifth place. Solana has had an absolute legendary run. Let's change it to max. Because if you got in Solana back here when it was sitting at a pound, and Solana right now is sitting at a hundred or one pound fifty, you know, one pound fifty, one pound eleven. Uh, I don't mind £1.26. Let's just use £1.26 as a fine example. Uh, the price right now is £133. £133 divided by £1.26. I want to show you the X gain that some people may have had had they got in Solana back then. You're talking 105 times your money back. See, for me, I look at that now and I say, actually, maybe I should start seriously considering taking the majority of my profits. 60% of my profits, 65% of my profits, leave some in there, this is what this video is about, it's about, you know, figuring out strategies that we can do, all of us, 
Ones that are going to help you on your journey so you know that you've actually realized some of your profits because you don't want to see it collapse. You know, me, you know, if you've got a node running, it's great for you because you can just take profits anytime you like. And if you want to put it into other projects, fine. If you want to take it and put it into your bank, fine. But you have to seriously start thinking about, especially right now, because, you know, taking some profits or, or having a strategy of knowing when you're going to take your profits. If I was in Solana and I got in Solana back then, now, even though it's gone as high as, because you know this really blasted 192 pounds, you may be sitting there thinking, "Ah, oh, it went up there before it can go there again." Fine, if you believe it can go there again, fine, go for it. But just know when you want to take profits. Don't be that person that sits there and watches it collapse. I don't think anyone should do that. If you've made so much as of 100 pounds in 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 the in your investment, you've doubled your money. Consider taking profits. If it falls, fine. Let that uh, let some of your profits fall, but take the majority of it, because at least then you've got sixty five uh, uh, p- uh, percent of your profits that you can use in the future, and the other thirty five is just dropping. Let it drop. You can put it back in on something else. So that was that. Let's just take a look at some other coins. I, I don't mind using the top ten. I did a video on uh, Cardano a year ago, roughly about a year ago from today. It was sitting on six pence. Now, I've had an absolute insane run with Cardano. You are going to come across coins like Cardano that you probably just won't want to sell. Why? Because you're staking them, you're creating this passive income and it's generating good wealth for you right now. And it's a tough decision to sell all your Cardano. Like for me, I got in on Cardano at two pence. I don't think I was even a YouTuber back then. Something said to me, Jay, just become a YouTuber. Just do it. You might make people laugh. Uh, so, uh, and, and, and provide good knowledge. I wish I was doing it right back then because I was buying Cardano, I'm sure, at a penny. A penny and two pence when it had a disgusting drop. Um, but, you know, even still, six pence was a good buy. People think one pound is a good buy. It actually could be a phenomenal buy. Many people expect Cardano to go to a trillion market cap. Now, it might not happen this cycle, but then saying that it could do. Next week, it could explode. So you've got to weigh out your odds. Right now, it's at a 32 billion market cap. If this goes to a 100 billion market cap, uh, that's a, a three times your money back. Sits Cardano at a three pound price. So what I'm getting at is that 100 billion could, could be possible. A trillion dollar market cap. What are we talking you're talking a 30x gain from now. Do you want to wait that long for it if you do fine? But what if it never comes this cycle? Things you've got to think about, right? Um, you know, go, just go through a few coins. Had you bought, I don't know, Ethereum. Ethereum is a fine example. Like, if you're holding Ethereum now, and again, people are excited for this, you know, 2.0 and the staking and the whatnots, go for it. But you got to remember, when you put your coins in the staking with Ethereum, and I'm sure Ethereum's doing bonded, bounded i'm sure they're doing ones where it's locked up for a period of time where you can't just take it when you want i'm sure it's a bounded for a period of time so you gotta remember that you you're going to be sitting through that bear market should there be one with all your theorem locked up staking uh so that's another thing you have to pay attention to how much do you want to stake if you're going to do that how much do you want to unbound uh but look down here look had you've got in forget 2017 let's just say 2018 2019 2020 2020 you could have bought theorem at a hundred dollars a hundred quid about 130 dollars something like that a hundred pound and the price right now uh the highest it's been was three thousand uh it's not, let, let me get to the top there. It says 3,004. Down here, it says 3,600 was its highest. Let me scroll up so you can see. 3,600 was its highest price. That's a 36x gain on your money. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is why you're seeing people in the stock uh, industry, the stock market, come over here. And they'd be like, oh, I just bought myself like 30 shares of Ethereum. Shares. <laughs> We just call it coins, you know, but whatever you want to call it, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is that you're knowing when you're going to take your profits. For me, 36 times my money back sounds like a good time to maybe consider taking some profits. Even if it's 50% of my money, take some profits. Look, I've got a take profit strategy. Patrons, you have seen it. 
If you want, I will post it again later today. I will post it later today at the time of recording this video. You can see it again, just updates you. Because I break down prices. Every single coin that I'm holding, and if you want to talk to me about it, drop some you know messages, I'll get back to you and help you, to, you know, figure out when to take profits on your coins. But you don't want to be that person. No one to take profits. They can see exactly when I'm taking profits on Cardano, XRP, Bitcoin, uh, all these coins that we've got, 8Pay, uh, I don't know what, what other coins I've got. They can see it, land share. They know when I'm going to be taking profits. And you can see the prices, how much I'm going to gain. And yeah, and if whatever we decide to do at that point, if we want to pull it back into other coins, fine. But know when to, uh, when to take profits. That's what this video is about. Um, uh, if you don't want to miss that, right, and you want to make sure you're on top of it, become a patron. I've got seven tiers. Take your pick. I recommend going for my exclusive VIP partner tier, this one here. You will have all my posts. You can see when I buy, when I sell, when I take profit. You can see how much I'm selling, the percentage, what I'm going to make. It's all there. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to update it again today because some may, be, may find it hard to find on here. You usually click on the post and you can find it through tags. But I'm going to make it super clean, super simple. Just upload it again. You can see it today. Uh, and you can see what I'm taking profits on and when I'm going to do it, how much and whatnot. It's important. Uh, and I'm happy to sit back and wait for those goals of those, you know, these coins to hit these prices. And when they do, I'll be happy. And I'm not going to be this person where... <clears throat> Let me hold a bit longer just in case. No, no. You, once you set your prices, stick to your prices. Unless you really believe in your heart that, that it can seriously go that little bit higher, then maybe adjust your prices slightly. But I have a price plan and I've been sticking to it as much as I can and I'm going to continue to stick with it. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much this video. I don't even know if there's anything else I want to say on this. Because, you know, I could go on all day talking about taking profits, showing you different strategies and stuff. Maybe I'll bring other strategies because I did do it a while back, years ago, on, you know, how to take profits, what should you, should you take it in. Uh, maybe search it. Go on my YouTube and search it because you should be taking profits. You can take it into Bitcoin you want. You can take it into Ethereum if you like. My, my game's ch uh, changed slightly. I think I'm going to take it into stable coins. You know, Binance, Binance sitting in third place. Okay, Binance, I thought it was BUSD. Uh, look, USDC, whichever one you want to decide to trust, okay? And I say trust because, you know, Teva, USDC, they're centralized, which means that they can control your wallet address. They can blacklist it. They can stop money coming out of it. They can freeze it. Whereas coins like DAI, which is slowly creeping up like 30 place, DAI is a decentralized coin. Uh, stable coin which no one can control uh, so you know that's why I'm trying to put this to your attention no way you want to take profits how you're gonna do it and yeah guys I'm gonna bring more on this if it was helpful to you please drop that like give me a subscribe if you're new watching thank you for watching truly appreciate you all I'm hoping you can see this screen because I've been floating between this screen and this screen so yeah thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video cheers